Hey everybody, welcome back to the Isle of Trains. Let's keep delivering that cargo. Okay, so it's Jen's turn. She's got three cards. And you know, she'd like to load some stones so she can get a you know, you know, getting that bonus buy, that's three actions on one turn. That's a big deal. But she needs to load stone. She doesn't want to throw this bank away because her special power is getting multiple buildings built. She could use this box car, but she'd like to get this box car so she can start getting some. So actually, I think her first thing, she'll just draw a card. Ah, oh, okay, a tanker. So now she's got two cards, either one of which could be stone. Let's see here. And, um, hmm, I think she, okay, for her second action, she will load. She'll use this box car. It's interesting. Um, the box car is more expensive for her to build and lets her carry one lumber. The tanker is cheaper and lets her carry one oil. So I think she'll keep this one. Plus, it's lighter. She'll keep this one. She wants to install this into her own train. So she is going to load my hopper with her stone. All right. And so that means she, that was her first, no, her first action was she drew. Her second action was she gets to draw two cards now. One, two, and she gets a third action. She gets to build. And so now she could build this tanker car. She's got plenty of cars in her hand. Or she could build a hopper. She's already got a hopper. She can already carry some stone. Let's do the tanker. All right, so uh, she gets the free build. She's going to build a tanker, which means she has to discard two cards. All righty, and what's she going to discard? She will discard this engine because it's not like she needs it. And she will discard... Uh, a little, no, she'll discard this hopper because she already has a hopper and she might want to upgrade her current hopper to this better one. All right, so that was Jen's turn. And now she actually has three cars, whereas I only have two. All right, so that was her turn, my turn. I've got nothing in my hands. And um, so I guess I'll just draw a card for one. Let's see, it's oil. I can only load, oh, I can, oh, yeah. Okay, so I've, I've drawn a card. It's a bigger box car. Which is, yeah, and my second action, I'm going to load Jen's car, which, you know, one oil can go to her tanker, and that lets me draw three cards. So at the end of my turn, I got three cards total instead of two by just drawing two. One, two, three. All right, and so I'm starting to build up my hand again. I got another caboose. Plus, after a delivery, get a car immediately, or a card, that's nice. A box car, so I could start carrying some lumber, or a tanker, so I can start carrying some oil. I think I want that, because I definitely need the uh, tanker to start collecting oil. All right, so that was my turn, Jen's turn. She's got her two cards in her hand. So, right, and the only thing she can load on me, she could load another stone, so she could throw this bank away to draw two cards and then get a free build. And drawing two cards would not be enough to let her use her free build to get this hopper. So I don't think she wants to load me up. Uh, let's see. Now remember, she can always load herself up too, although her oil tanker is full already. And let's see, she could use this to do stone, and then that means she could make a delivery to Denton and start having a long-term plan of her own. But I think, let's see, first of all, of her two actions, she'll draw a card, a super tanker. Wow, and um, if she builds this and I load it, I get to draw three cards, plus I get to do a load or a delivery, my choice. And it's really light, so that's pretty cool. Let's see here. I think she'll just draw another one. All right. And uh, a hopper car. Okay. My turn. Mm. <clears throat> all right. Now, what am I trying to do? I, all right. I want to get this tanker car built. It's only going to cost me one because I get the discount thanks to my caboose. And um, let's see. I got another caboose. The plus one after the other. I don't think I care about that. I, my first action is I'm going to build this tanker car. Okay. And so I have to only discard one. I'll discard this other caboose. And... Uh, I, Train starting to get a little big here. There we go. So that was my first of two actions. And now my second action, I could just go on ahead and load my own stone here and fill this up so that Jen would not get the benefit. Um, all right. Although it would be nice to actually build this too because the, well actually, the easier contract to get requires um, only two stone as opposed to three stone, but it requires a wood. So I kind of want to get this box car installed as well because I can certainly handle the weight. I can handle up to eight. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Or do I just want to get this loaded up? So I'm, I mean, I'm starting to build up cargo. You know, I think I will. I'm just going to load my own train, which means, because I can see Jen's got a bunch of cards in her hand and she would probably like to get the free build so I'm going to load my own car. This car is now full, and so Jen cannot load my car, and therefore she won't get a, you know, a triple action again. All right, so those are my two actions, right? 
I built and then I loaded. Okay, so Jen's turn. <clears throat> Let's see. And yeah, she definitely, definitely would have lowered this stone if she could so that she could have gotten, you know, a free build action as well. But let's see, so she can get, draw three cards by loading oil into my tanker car. And let's see, so she could do that with this hopper if she wants to give that up. Um, but, you know, it'd be nice to just upgrade this hopper. It would cost her three to get a better hopper which I would be tempted to load because it gives me a free build. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty nice. But, all right, well, I think Jen will draw a card. and see, and so she gets a level 5 tanker. And then for a second, she is going to go on ahead and build this hopper. She's going to do it as an upgrade to her existing hopper. She could make it a whole separate one, but as an upgrade, this, instead of costing 5, only, or I'm sorry, instead of costing 4, only costs 3. So it costs her 3, so she has to discard 3 cards. And she's keeping the bank, so she'll discard these other three cards. Okay. And so she drew a card, and then she built. All right, now it's my turn. I got nothing in my hand, so I'll draw. Let's see, and it's a rock. So I could load Jen's car, which let me draw two and then do a build. But with two cards, I don't know if I'd be able to build anything. So I don't think I'm going to load. I'm just going to go on ahead and um, draw another. And I got a super tanker. So that was my turn. I drew two cards. Jen's turn. All right, she's got this bank. She wants to build this bank. So she will just go one. Let's see, oh, two buildings. Now all the buildings are crazy expensive. Now this one, um, two um, points per train car, not engine. So if Jen gets this building built, she wants to make a crazy long car. Well, that's going to be tougher to do because she's already got two heavy cars on here. Now, as part of the build, if you want, you can jettison a car that's already on here, and you might want to do that for weight considerations. Because if Jen, I mean. Uh, but it's interesting, if Jen jettisons her caboose to make up more weight, then that's um, then she can only have one building in play. So that's interesting. Anyway, so Jen drew a card. Hmm. And Jen is tempted to load mine so she can draw three cards. So if she was only going to keep one of these, does she want to go for the having a lot of loaded goods at the end of the game? Or I think um, since she she's already kind of has heavier cards, she's going to use this. Her second action is she's going to load my tanker car with oil, and that get, lets her draw three cards. One, two, three. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. My turn. All right, and so that's interesting. I now have two rocks and one oil, but I need three rocks and two oil, which I cannot do until I get um, more tanker storage, or I, I need two oil no matter what. So I need to either get a new tanker car or upgrade this existing tanker car, and look at this. I got a super tanker, which is going to cost me six, it's going to cost me five to get this thing built. I would love to get that built, because um, then I can hold three oil, which is more than enough to be able to complete this. So I want to start building up towards this. I need five total to build this by upgrading. So how can I get five cars really quick? Well, I could load Jen's box car, which will give me two more and a build action, but I need five total. So I think for now I'm just going to draw two cards. One. Oh, and the deck is empty, so i got to reshuffle the discard pile. Okay. Uh, very hard to reach around the tripod to shuffle. That'll do. That's good enough. All right, so. So one, and I'm just going to draw a second card. That was my turn. And all right, so Jen's turn. All righty, so she has another. Ooh, now the bank. Just eight points. Doesn't matter what she does, no special consideration, just get eight points at the end of the game. That is a big deal. That is maybe more attractive than this bank. Although again, she can build two buildings, but she needs to start saving up to do it. So, now she can't load anymore, so she can't get any shortcuts by doing my own. Let's see. Oh, this caboose would actually let her store one of anything. So she could actually have more stuff and she could store anything on here. And uh, the interesting thing is, if I would never load this because I would get no benefit for doing it. So, um, you know, Jen gives her a way to store her cargo without giving me any implicit benefit of being able to load the thing. So that's interesting. Hmm. Although this is weight two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Her engine would be almost overloaded at that point. Let's see, a bigger box car. Now, Jen doesn't have a box car at all anymore. This is very heavy. It costs six. Um, but then she could carry two lumber, which gives her a lot of flexibility. So I think maybe she wants to get this thing built. And so she needs six cards total. Now, she, um, right, so for her, she has two actions. She could draw a card, and then she'd have five. 
And then she could draw a card. She'd have six. Well, this is going to be tricky. She needs to have seven cards in her hand to be able to build this thing. And at the end of her turn, she always has to discard down to five. Or I'm sorry, no, she needs, yeah, she needs seven cards in her hand because this is one of the cards and the other six is what she discards. So the only way she's going to be able to get this thing built is on a turn where she piggybacks off of my cars, and my cars are all full. So this is going to be a hard thing to build. Hmm. Let's see. Um, or she could get the caboose and just you know store her own stuff. That gives her a lot more flexibility to be able to do. Um, you know that's kind of tempting too. I think first of all she'll just draw a card. Here's her first of two actions, and another caboose increases her total weight by two. And it doesn't add any weight, so that's actually pretty cool, and it's worth a point. Hmm, I think Jen will, she's going to build, her train is going to have a second caboose. Let's go ahead and slide all this down here a bit. All right, so there we go. So that, she had to discard three cards to do this. She will discard, I think this bank, she's going to go for the Grand Central. That's one, two, Three. Okay, so that was her turn. She drew and then she built. Now it's my turn. Alrighty. And so now I can load stone into Jen's hopper, which she's hoping I'll do, and that'll let me get a free build action. So that's pretty cool. What do I want to build? Let's see. I've already upgraded this hopper. I don't want to upgrade another hopper, but I need to be able to deliver three stone for the best contract. So maybe I just want to get this hopper built. Um, or this boxcar so I could do... Let's see. Or Customs House, which um, for every contract I have, although actually I don't have a good, you know, what was it? Clark is not a good contract for lumber. So the Customs House is not a particularly interesting card to me. So I think I'm going to discard this to build something else. Hmm, a box car that'll let me just carry some more lumber. Or a super tanker that'll let me carry a lot more oil. This is going to cost me six. It's going to cost me five. Which I'll be able to do... Yeah, so I'm going to load Jen's hopper now, which needs stone. What can I load here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to use this uh, the Customs House, which is no good for me. I'm going to load Jen's hopper. That lets me draw two cards and get a free build action. So I'm going to draw two cards. One, two. And now I've got what I need. I get a free build action. I'm going to build this super tanker because it's eight, seven, six, five. So I'm going to discard... Oh, shoot. I only have four cards after that. So the first thing I did was I drew a card, and then the second thing I did was I loaded Jens, and now I get the free build. So the third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my tanker to a super tanker, which means I have to discard all these cards. Okay, and my hand is empty once again, but now, let's see, I, I, I can still add a lot of cards to this train. I can carry a lot more weight, and I can carry three oil and two stone. So that gives me a lot of flexibility. So that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. She's got Grand Central. She wants to build this thing, but she could load this. This would let her draw three cards and then do a load or a delivery immediately. But she wants to... Okay, so I think her first action is she'll build. Uh, this is the Coal Factory, which um, rewards for stone-based contracts. Now she has. She can get another stone loaded in here, and then she could complete... Oh, well, unfortunately, I did the best stone-based region, which is Clark. Hmm... So, she's a little bit less excited. I mean, she could still get a total of three stone over here or three stone over there. But Clark could have been a potential five stone. So, I think this contract is coal factory is less interesting for her. Hmm, let's see. So, she drew. So, I think she will use this to load my super tanker because my super tanker can hold with three oil. And that lets her draw three cards. So she drew, and now she's loading. She gets to draw three cards, and then she'll get another load or another delivery. Her choice. One, two, three. And so now she has a load or delivery she could do. I see here. So she could load stone into her own now by using this. Yeah, that's what, Jen's going to load into her own train. All right. Um, or, mm, you know what, actually, I think instead, instead of loading, um, yeah, she'll leave that out as an enticement for me. She'll get that, hopefully, that cargo for free. She's going to load this into her new caboose. So basically, she's loaded up a wild card. Okay. Nice. All right. So that gives her a lot of flexibility. So, 
Uh, she drew, she loaded me, and then she got the free load as well, and then she has three cards at the end of her turn. By the way, I forgot to mention one thing. If you ever want to make a load, but you don't have the right card to be able to load, you can discard a card from your hand and then turn another card into anything you want in terms of cargo. So you always have flexibility to load as long as you have a card you're ready to throw away. Now it's my turn. My hand is empty. Let's see. I've got two oil and two stone loaded up. I need um, two oil and three stone to complete the better contract. So I need to be able to get one more stone loaded up somewhere. Let's draw a card and see what I get. Let's see. Oh, so this is a um, this is a oil refinery, which gives me points for oil-based contracts at the end of the game. Hmm. I think my first action was I drew. My second action is I'm just going to load. Oh, I can't load into Jen's tanker. But I can load it into Jen's Hopper, which will let me draw two cards and then build something. But I might not get to be able to do that build. I think I'll just draw instead. All right, so a tanker car. All right, all right, that's my turn, Jen's turn. You can see how fast this game goes. And surprisingly, I mean, we're both getting pretty big trains built here. Um, I didn't expect this was going to happen. I thought we'd probably, you know, it's possible you could go the entire game only having a few trains and just, you know, keep, uh, you know. But anyway, so Jen's turn. What is she going to do? Ah, let's see. Ooh, this lovely box car would be crazy expensive. This tanker car, which costs three as an upgrade of her existing tanker. So if she just draws a card, she could then discard both of these, but she still wants to build a Grand Central. She could load another thing, and that would let her draw and then get another load or a delivery. You know, maybe she's getting to the point where she should do a delivery. That makes sense. Now, this needs oil. So she could, instead of trying to build a tanker, she could load a tanker into here, draw three. Yeah, I think that's what she's going to do. She's going to load up, and now my super tanker is full of oil. Jen gets to, this is her first action, she gets to draw three cards. One, two, three, and now she gets a free load or a delivery action, and she has one more action on top of that. Um, let's see. So she, uh, she could do a, a load or a delivery. She can't load either of mine. Mine are completely full. She could load her coal into her own harbor, but she wouldn't get a bonus for that. So I think she is going to do a delivery, finally. So she's got a stone, an oil, and a wild card in her caboose. What does she want to do? Let's see. She's got the Grand Central building. Um, she can the most she can hold right now is stone. I've got the best stone-based one, though. Let's see. She can't hold any lumber, so I think she'll do Denton. So this was her free delivery. It's four points. She has to give up one stone and one oil. She'll give up this stone. She's delivered that, and she'll deliver this oil. And she'll keep that wild card back there in her caboose for later. And so, now this is four points to her, and she now has a target. She cannot go for any of the big deliveries on the main island until she does plus nine or plus seven points. Two stone, two oil, or one stone, two oil, and one, and one lumber. So anyway, so this gives her a target she is going to be focusing on for a while now. All right. So... She, she, all right, and she still has one more action because she did that delivery as a free action for loading me. She has one more action. She's got five cards in her hand. Let's see, she can't load anything into my own. She could load her own but not get any bonuses. Does she want to build something more? Well, she can't build, um, or she's got the best engine, so both of these are, are good for only loading. A tanker. She could upgrade her tanker. Yeah, that's what Jen's going to do. She is going to upgrade her level two tanker to a level five tanker, which means she has to spend three cards. And she'll keep her Grand Central. She has plans to build that. So she'll get up to these other three cards. And now she's got a nice big... She can have a lot of oil in that tanker, and that's good, because she needs two oil delivery for the best to um, turn this into a 13-point contract. Okay. So that's pretty good. All right, so that was Jen's turn. All right, and so she's still got this card in her hand. She's got her contract. My turn. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, now, what do I need? I need, I need more stone. So I need to be able to carry more stone. I need to either upgrade this hopper or get another hopper. Jen has just opened up all of her things, so I can start drawing cards faster thanks to her. Draw two and get a build. But again, the question is if I draw... Well, let's see, I'll draw one. And let's see, this is a caboose. Gives me another power, plus one when loading stone. It's kind of nice, but it's not what I was hoping for. 
Uh, and I don't want to draw, t um, take the chance of doing this and then not get to you, you know, leverage the build. Hmm. So I guess I'll just draw. All right. And another, where are the hoppers? I need a hopper. All right, Jen's turn. She's got one card in her hand. And she needs to start loading up again. And she's got one wild card, so she'll draw. And it's a level one engine. And then for her second action, she will load this. Oh, wait, no, I'm totally loaded up. So she can't load on me. She could load herself, but I guess she'll just draw. So I think we're back into a drawing looking for stuff. All right, my turn. I'm going to draw again. I'm going to get this hopper. All right, there we go. Good, good, good. Okay, so I've got the hopper I want to build. Now for my second action, I'm going to load Jen's hopper with stone, which I will, what will I get rid of? I'll get rid of this caboose. So I'm going to load stone. And that means I get to draw two more. And I get to do a build for free. All right, and let's see. Did I get, all right, and so... I get to do a build for free, which is going to be this hopper, and I get a discount. So this hopper is effectively built for free. And so my train is getting a little bit large. It's combining with Jen's train. Okay, move off there, engine. All righty. So, all right, there's my train. And that didn't cost me anything, but it did take a build action, but I got that build action for free by loading Jen's. At the end of my turn, I got five cards in my hand, so I'm back in business. Once I get one stone loaded in here, I can complete my the first part of my delivery and get the bonus because I just need, I've got two stone, I've got the two oil, I just need one more stone and that's plus 10 points. So that's pretty nice. Okay. So that was it. Jen's turn. And hey, Jen's got something she can load. Draw three cards. If she loads this up, she will. Jen's going to load my hopper and so she gets to draw three and then has to discard one. One, two, three. So she has to spend two actions worth of draws with only one action. Now she's going to have to discard something. Hmm, I guess she will discard this uh, hopper. All right, so that was Jen's first action. And so now she's got four cards in her hand. In one action, she got two cards. For her second action, right, she needs stone, two oil, and one lumber. She's got the lumber with this wild card, so she just needs to get this thing loaded back up again. So I think she's tempted. She'll just go on ahead and load her own tanker. So that was her two actions. Back to me, back to my turn. And now my first action, folks, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make my second delivery to Clark. Uh, three stone, two oil. So here's my three stone. I think Jen loaded all this for me. And two oil, which these I still have one oil in this super tanker. And I have done it. I have increased my Clark contract from four to 14. And now that I've done that, I can now start doing deliveries to either Killian, Ashton, Locke, Haven, or Eagle Wharf. I can start doing deliveries up here again. So that was my first action. My second action, well, I, I want to target one of these. Because the game is over in a two-player game once four of these have been claimed. So, the sooner I get working on this, the sooner I can start working on a, on a second really big delivery. So, um, let's see, and I could load Jen's oil tanker again, which let me draw three and then do another delivery, but, oh shoot, I could have got, I just spent an action to do a delivery, but I could have done a delivery for free if I had loaded Jen up. So let's actually say the first thing I did was, I used this engine to load Jen, so my first turn action was to load Jen, which let me draw three cards, one, two, three, and then do a delivery, and then I just did the delivery. And so now I have one more action I can do on top of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I better build something, because otherwise I'm going to have to discard cards. Um, let's see. And I would like to get a building built. Well, the only building I've got is the oil refinery, which gives me the target of going for oil contracts. And the best oil contract is here in Ashton. So I could go for that and then go for Ashton. So that's pretty cool. So I think I am going to build a building. Where'd it go? It was the oil refinery. So uh, my last action is I'm going to build an oil refinery. Put it over here. This is my oil refinery. I got to give up six. Now, this only gives me a discount on trains. So I got to pay the full six for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got to discard everything to do this, but I will. And so now... Um, I want to get the Ashton contract because that'll be worth four points and potentially worth an additional six points if I do the level two Ashton. So there we go. Plus, I mean, no, this building. All right. So there we go. That's my turn. My hand is empty again. It is Jen's turn. 
she still hasn't gotten, she, I mean, she gets two buildings built. She hasn't gotten her first building built. She really needs to focus on that. Um, but she also wants to start working so she can do her second delivery to Denton as well. Hmm. Da, 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 da. She has three cards. She can start loading me up again to start drawing extra cards. Three cards plus a load and a, or a delivery. Right, so does she have any oil? This bigger box car. Right. Now she doesn't have a box car at all. To do the best delivery here, she wants to have her own box car. But instead, she can just go for the lesser delivery. So I think she will. She's going to dump this uh, lesser box car to do some oil. Urgh. Which lets her draw three. One, two, three, and then get a free load or delivery. And I believe it's going to be a load. Right. So. Um, now, she could do another load into my own stone and then draw three more cards and minus one. So she'd have a lot of flexibility, a lot of control over what's in her hand. But let's see what she just drew right now. She has a free load or a free delivery. She can't do a delivery because she's got a ways to go. Although, actually, wait, that's not true. Wow, yeah, you know what? So she's just going to go for a free load if she has a stone. Yes, she does. She's going to, uh, uh, yeah, she's going to load this stone into her own hopper. That was a free load she got to do off of loading mine. That was her first action. And, um... Right, now for a second action, she will do a delivery. Denton wants two stone, two oil. She's got it. So, Jen had just loaded all this stone and this oil, and she still got her wild card back there. And so, it was the worst one. It was plus seven instead of plus nine, but that means Jen has just locked in 11 points on her contract. And now she can go for one of these contracts as well. And the interesting thing is, Jen knows I want Ashton because I tipped my hand. And Jen might try to get that first. Although, actually, she's going to fail because I've got the two oil I need. And so it's my turn. And the first thing I'm going to do before Jen can take it from me, I am going to do a delivery, get these two oil, and go to Ashton, which was five points. And so that's guaranteed at least four points on this oil refiner, but maybe more if I can do the second delivery as well. Although I need um, to be able to have two lumber for that, which Currently, I cannot deliver on. But anyway, so that was, um, I have a new contract now that I'm working on. That was my first action. And then my second action, let's see here. Um, oops, I think these are Jen's cars, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're Jen's car. My second action is I'll just draw a card and I have a little three engine and I'm done. And now it's Jen's turn. Here's her Grand Central. She still hasn't built that. She needs six cards to do it. Um, you know, she could draw a card and then load my thing, and then she could get Grand Central built. I think she better do that. I think um, Jen is going to do that. She is going to load Stone into my box car, let her draw three cards, which means we got to shuffle the deck again. So we've gone through it all. Second time we've been through the deck now. Her, come here, you. Close enough. Here enough for government work. She gets to draw one, two. I think I already draw, sorry, draw, draw. I think I drawn one, and so there's the other two. Now she has to discard one. No, she didn't draw. Okay, so here we go. Here's a three. And now she has to discard one, um, which will be this caboose. And now uh, one, one. Oh crap! Wait a minute. I thought she was gonna be able to do this. She was gonna draw three, discard one. But that was still going to have enough in her hand to be able to build Grand Central. But she doesn't. I think I have miscounted somewhere along the way. And you know what? I'm starting to get confused, obviously. But hopefully you guys have a pretty good idea of how this game plays. I mean, I'm going to stop right there. I'm running out of, uh, of screen space. I can zoom out a little bit. You can see our trains are starting to get pretty impressive. I've now got this target to finish this. Because here's the thing. This is dangerous for me. I want to deliver the second level of this thing so that I can get the bonus points, the plus nine plus more points on my contract. But as soon as Jen claims one of these, it's immediately game over. After Jen claims one of these, both of us will get one more turn and that's it. Now, Jen needs one stone and one. And so Jen, Jen has a situation. She, could, she has yet to actually get enough to get her bonus points on her Grand Central. She'd like to build up enough to be able to build this thing. But she doesn't want to give me enough time to actually complete the contract I've got because she's in control. She can trigger the end of the game right now um, you know, and get six points by grabbing um, you know, Lock uh, Haven, for example. So it's going to come down to the wire. I think Jen is going to try and get this one bank built which means this uh, other caboose was pretty much useless except for the two points it gives her. Um, she'll try to get this one bank built and then very quickly build Lock Haven before I finish my second contract. And I'm desperately going to try, or I'm sorry, I'm desperately going to try to get loaded up. 
And I'll probably have to go for the, let's see, I need two, three oil and two lumber. And that's my problem. I can't do lumber at all. All I can do is stone and oil. So I might not have enough time to finish this, in which case I probably just want to build as fast as I can. But yeah, I'm going to stop right there. We're getting close to the end of the game. And if you guys uh, would like to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit the button or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.